Wow, okay. So we talked a little bit about um, the one of the ways to build up your burst meter mm -hmm. was to do the auto combo. Mm -hmm. Now, coming from an outsider's perspective, I, well, I've seen a lot of people complain about the auto combo because they think, oh, you can just mash A into super. Now let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, what what's the idea behind just being able to do like A, 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 A into super? Well, um, you gotta remember that this game is, you know, based on an RPG. And, you know, we wanted, you know, people who don't play fighting games like normally to be able to enjoy while well, playing this game, you know, decently, mm. um, you know, people who can't even do like a fireball or whatever, you know, you're pretty much, you know, stuck with like like normal attacks. Mm. But at least, you know, in this game, you know, you sort of kind of look cool by, you know, doing right. all these cool combos. You look like you know what you're doing. Right. Right. So, so that's one and probably the, the biggest aspect. But um, if you look into the, the technicality of it, um, you can pretty much um, break down the auto combo into different sections. Um, now, uh, when I did that combo right there, I started out with a series of normal attacks, mm -hmm. and then I did a slide, and then canceled into a super. Um, the normal attacks have you know like different properties for each hit it does. Um, of course, uh, the first hit, the, the the first A hit is pretty much the same thing as you know like regular A hit. Mm -hmm. You can you know like chain into like a like a B attack or a C attack or whatever. Mm. Now the second hit, you know, a, a lot of times you can still do things like chain like that or jump cancel or whatnot. Uh -huh. Now the, the third hit, now this is a special one. Once you go this far, you won't be able to do anything besides cancel into a move. Uh, you can't jump cancel, you know, you can't, you know, do like additional chain or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But on that third hit, uh, it gives you an extra bonus, um, as I said earlier, on the on the burst gauge, mm -hmm. as well as on the SP gauge, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to, you know, doing a regular combo on your own. Right. And it, it's a pretty, you know, substantial amount of, um, um, of bonus that you uh, you get out of this third hit of auto combo. Okay, let's let's turn off um, burst and uh, the SP. That way, we can see how much. Okay. That's really cool that you can set the, um, the SP gauge to like the actual number that you want it at, <laughs> so you can see exactly how much each each move gets you. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Now let's see here. Let me use the burst real quick. Okay, so let me reset. So um, I have about a little bit less than half full of burst mm -hmm. and zero on the SP. Mm -hmm. Now if I do a regular chain, it increases that much. Well, burst really didn't go up that much, um, and you got like seven points right there on the mm -hmm. SP. Now, if I do the third hit of auto combo, what happens is a pretty wow. significant jump, isn't it? So you got almost uh, a little bit more than Three quarters of oh, well, you got well you got nineteen instead of what was it seven it was like, yeah so you got more you got like two and a half times for doing a a a wait it was a a a a where's mine yeah uh, for Mitsuru my... it's a little bit special you know because she can actually you know keep hitting the a uh, mm -hmm. to increase the number of that third hit but you know similar idea. Ah, uh, okay, so she has to do four. Because the, I, I, yeah, I, right? I saw the jump at the mm. four. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So you get like, almost like a quarter of your burst back, and maybe? That's, that's, that's you know, pretty significant. Mm -hmm. Because the burst will take, without doing that, I mean, it, you know. It, yeah, it just like slowly creeps up. Yeah, I mean, you could go an entire round almost and barely have your burst almost back. Like if you if you burst it at the very beginning, it would, it would take you almost until the, the next round, right? Mm -hmm. Huh, okay, so even though some would say that, oh yeah, like it's so it's so cheap to just be like a super, there's actually like, even if you don't want to do a a a super and burn your meter, you can just do a a a or a a a a and then get like a significant amount of SP as well as a significant amount of your burst. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, the, the drawback of doing the auto combo is the fact that 
you know, you simply don't do that much damage mm -hmm. as com uh, compared to like other combos that you can do uh, on your own. But you know, again, you know, it's a trade-off. Yeah, uh, if you want to build up your meter fast, uh, you know, maybe you know just concentrate on doing the auto combos towards the beginning uh. of the round. So here's a typical auto combo, which is fifteen six or fifteen ninety. Mm -hmm. And if you do simply BC into the slide, sixteen twenty five. Sixteen twenty five. Uh huh. I see. Hmm. Okay, so there's definitely a trade off. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other things that you can do with your SP gauge. Okay. Oh, I should probably talk about the, the awakening state too. Yes, um, yes, because you can set it all the way up to 150, or but the, the, by default it's 100. Yeah. So what is awakening? When you play the game, of course, you know, um, as you attack, defend, hit, get hit, you know, either side, well, both sides, most most likely will will start losing life, mm. and. Um, for all characters, as soon as you reach a certain point in, in your life gauge, um, you go into what's called an awakened state, uh, where you take less damage than normal, and you get 50 more um, SP onto your SD gauge. So right now, uh, the max is 100, but in the awakened state, you actually go up to 150. Mm. Um, each each you know big special move costs you know 50 SP, so in the awakened state you know you can pretty much like do up to like three of them. Nice. Uh, is each character's awakened state different? I wish I can answer you on that one, but I think you know the majority of them is about like like 30 30 percent or whatnot. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um. Oh, there it is. So you see, like the uh, the portrait mm -hmm. back, and so now uh, I am awakened, and now I got the instant free fifty SP. Mm -hmm. And now, do I do more damage, or do I just no, take less damage? Uh, ju just less damage, but it's you know significantly less damage. Hmm. Um, here, let's do uh, like one auto combo on you. So that does 992. Ah, okay, whereas before it did 1590, yeah. right? Huh. So it cuts down the, the damage by mm -hmm. quite some. So should you... I mean, should you... Is there stuff that you can do with 150 SP that you can't do with 100? Not really, um, although there is one additional special move that each character will be able to do once they're in the awakened state. Oh, right. Um, yes, I think for, uh, for me it's this one, right? Yeah, and if you just keep hitting the button, shoot. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, so each, even the supers will only take two bars, which means that your your supers and your counters and your uh, one more cancels mm -hmm. all take two bars. So if you have 150 after you become awakened, then you could do some pretty crazy stuff with like multiple one more cancels in one combo and, and ending it with a super. Mm -hmm. Or have like multiple supers, you know, if mm. your character allows. Gotcha. Um, there's also moves that you can power up by hitting two buttons instead of just one when you uh, finish off your command input. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, let's see, for Mitsuru, you know, she has a kind of sonic boom type yes. you know, like motion attack. Um, if you press A and B buttons together, see how she turns blue? Uh -huh. um, that uses up one block, a 25 SP, uh, to po power that move up. And by doing so, it gives like, additional properties like like faster execution or... Uh -huh. um, Maybe like super armor or something. Yeah, invincibility or you know, things like that. Or like you know, just higher damage mm -hmm. and whatnot. Gotcha. Uh, what else can you do with your meter? 
um, let's see. Um, if you're blocking, if you, um, while in the block state, you press A and B buttons together, you'll do a guard reversal, and it doesn't do that much damage, but mm. you'll at least you'll push the opponent away from you. So it's kind of like a like an alpha counter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, and I can hit your persona. Um, you know the the moves out, mm. and. As long as you know my personal is like out, you know when I'm doing like whatever attack, yeah, you'll count for like you know, both of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does use up, you know, 50 SP, which is a lot. Um, you know, in some situations, you just you know might you know do that. You know, let's say if the the opponent's you know persona is like down to like like one card left or something. Ah, uh, right. Like it, it could be late in the game. They have one one card left. And you still have burst. Maybe they get you in a combo, and then you burst, but then they still come back at you. And you know you only have this much left, but you do have your you know your full your extra fifty because you're awakened. Mm -hmm. And then they come at you, and then you and then you um, and then you do the counter, and then you break the persona, and you're still alive. So you can still be like really hard to kill, even when you have like this much life. Mm -hmm. That's true. And you know having no persona at your disposal is a Huge disadvantage, so especially late in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you need to be very careful about that. Or you know, of course, on the on the attacking end, you know, you want to look for those opportunities, you know, to try to get the opponent's you know persona down. Nice. Awesome. Well, I think that that's all that there is for the meter. I believe so. Yeah. And I think we covered all of the. Uh, most of the normals and the command normals and movement and everything. Awesome. Well, you, thank you very much for this uh, educational tutorial. I really appreciate it. There was definitely some stuff that I, I mean, you know, I've been playing for a little while mm -hmm. and I didn't know the, the one more cancel, the, the difference between the burst on offense and defense. I hadn't been using that, but now I know. Mm -hmm. uh, so is, do you have Twitter or anything maybe where people can like hit you up and be like, Hey, what do I do about this? <laughs> or do we not want to put that up? <laughs> um, uh, we have the the Atlas USA Twitter, Facebook accounts, and whatnot, as well as our web forums. Uh, if you go to our website, okay. So um, you know, if you have questions about the game and whatnot, you know, you can you know, I guess post, and you know, our reps will you know try to answer to awesome. their best of their quality. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more Persona. We'll see you guys later. Thanks.